you know, one of the most difficult things we face, not only at the Early Learning Coalition, but in life itself, is the changing dynamics and the uh, breakup of the family structure, the inability, it seems, of young men to accept responsibility as fathers. One of the things we do is we try and focus on young men, older men, incarcerated men, and just help them understand and really start seeing their responsibility as a father. One of the things I talk about every Friday when I go to uh, the prison is that even though you're not there as you should be, and if you are there, you should always be the least important person. Anytime a father is the most important person in the family, it's a dysfunctional family. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work properly. That's not your role. We believe that a father, first and foremost, provides for his family. There are certain situations, and I'm not naive enough to think that everything is cookie cutter, and this is how it is. There are challenges in life and we all go through them, but those challenges should not deter from you being the father of that child. If there's issues with the mother, that still does not alleviate your responsibility to be a father. If your child falls and scrapes his or her knees, that's your blood that's bleeding on the sidewalk. Nobody else, it's yours. How then can you say, or how then can you not acknowledge or not step up to the plate? I spoke to a young man the other day in the correctional facility, Gulf County Correctional Facility, and I asked him a question. I said, the decision you made six years ago, you had two options. One, you could have went to McDonald's and got a job. And if they'd started you off at about $8 an hour and never given you a pay raise, you would still be a whole lot further ahead now than you are by the decision you made to go to prison. You would have been able to see your kids or put food on the table or, you know, buy your child a uh, pair of pants or uh, uh, tennis shoes. When a man abdicates his responsibility, the impact is not just immediate, it's long term. It embeds itself in that child. That child continually grows and feels like, well, am I worthy? Was it my fault? Uh, who am I? Fatherhood, or uh, a lack of fathers, actually detracts from a child's ability to understand who they are. And when you don't know who you are, it's difficult to know where you're going. I would never claim to be an expert on fatherhood. I've had a great wife who assisted me and a great God who's given me some insight into what we should do. But I do know this, Presence is what's important. It's not always what you have or what you can give, but you have your presence. You have who you are. A child who doesn't know his or her father may not know some of the main issues in life. When you go to a doctor, what do you say? What's your family medical history? I don't know. My dad wasn't man enough to stay home long enough to tell me about it. There is a difference, a great difference, in a sperm donor and a father. A father cries, a father loves his child, a father's present. First and foremost, 
He's present. He listens and he understands that he's the least important person in the family. Contact us either through our website at elcnwf.org, check us out on Facebook, or give us a call. We will be here to support you. Check it out.